Hi guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to our, the Zebra Tribe fam. Welcome back to the Zebra Tribe fam. So today's video, by the title, you can see that we're there's going to be a new house tour. Yes, there's a new house tour and I will tell you guys throughout this video, I will explain a little bit about what is going on so you guys can get an understanding as to why there is a new house tour. And after the house tour, I will go ahead and explain a little bit more about what's going on. But I'd love to hear what y'all think on this house. I did my best to kind of film discreetly. So don't come for me if I didn't capture all the footage because I did miss a couple of little things. But hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. And you'll hear from me after the video. So as promised guys, nearing the end of this house tour, I will explain all that is going on. But how about we just give a little shout out for how nice this house is. So for comparison, it is kind of like our house, but this one is a five bedroom, whereas in ours is a four plus one bedroom. So technically we have five, but I do prefer having all of my kids and my family on the main, like on a, you know, a, the same level. So I don't really count the basement room like that. Also, this room is similar in the fact that it has two living rooms so the front entrance that you were seeing was is the den area right here and then we have another section which is the living room and I really really enjoy that space it's really grand I like the way it's set up then the dining room area is a little bit off to the side it is not exactly the open concept that I'd prefer but um, you know it is what it is the upstairs is really nice it's big it's spacious and like I mentioned it is five bedrooms so anyways I'm gonna stop talking you guys get on with the tour and I'll talk a little bit more after the video So here, Aaron and I were debating about whether or not this walk-in closet was as big as the one that I currently have because in this house, we would have to actually share this closet as opposed to in our current home where I have that one to myself and he has a separate closet. So it's kind of funny how things work out when you are you know, trying to find that perfect home is that nothing is perfect. You get there there are some perks that you get and then there are some things that's kind of a bit of a letdown you can't have it all in one home So guys, as promised, we are here at the end. We're gonna explain a little bit about why you guys saw us in a new house tour video. So when we moved into this house, I thought like this was like our forever home, it's our dream home. And I really love our home. Like don't, let's not get yeah. that twisted. I absolutely love our home. But um, there are a few things here and there that like we really would want to change. Just so, And I think it goes with every house because even in this house, though it looks really cool, there are some things that we would have had to not, I don't know, 
you know, we've had to change. Like, oh, yeah, it had yeah. it had like the one closet, whereas in I'm used to us having our own closets, and I had a, my walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. This house, despite it being so much bigger and having a large, it's five bedroom, it has so much so much more space. We would be getting a hit in the closet. Yeah. Right. You'd be yeah. taking a hit there. So like stuff like that, like in our current home, I think little things that we'd want to change is like having the one sink in our master. We are fortunate enough to have a master and a bath and a shower and the whole nine yards. However, it would be cool to have like an actual like double sink. So we're not tripping over each other when we're trying to take, you know, do our various things, me putting on makeup, him brushing his teeth or shaving or something. And, and I know that is so minor, which is why I say like, it's not big stuff. No, um, the main thing I think for me that I would love to change about our home is our kitchen. The way it's set up and the way it's laid out is great and all, but I would love to have an island and I don't think it accommodates an island in the way that I would actually want it. So that is like, those yeah. are little things that yeah. we look at and we're like, okay, like, you know, we can, what do you call it? Venture out and look at other homes. Yeah, we can think about it. And just think about it. We're not at that place yet. This house was really nice. It was a five bedroom house, whereas in ours is four plus one. So technically ours is five two, but I do, if I were to have like an actual five bedroom house, I'd love for them, all my kids to be on the same level as opposed to have to send someone to the basement. That's not what I would like to do. So I, you know, that's the one, that was like a huge perk is it being a five bedroom. Um, overall, I really liked it. The fact that it still had a den. It had a den and a family room, which we yeah. currently have, the, right? We have two separate, ours are like on, you know, either, either side of our home, but just looking at the room size, do you think that their den was any bigger than ours? I think it's like equivalent. The room size of the den? Of the oh, den, when yeah, you come through the door. Bigger. It wasn't much bigger. The only difference is, is that what it wasn't, it wasn't um, a shared space. It was a specific den area, right, and then right. they had, yeah, the and then they had a specific dining room. So that's true. I, you Would know you what? Like I think I like it just because it is separate and it just gets to stay clean. Whereas in when it's in this area, it's like a unified space. It, um, it's shared. It gets messier, faster. Yep. And I think also when there's a distinct place, it kind of makes it feel a little bit bigger because you can, you just decorate it for what it's for and not having to share the space. When you share spaces, it's harder to decorate, a, uh, you know, right. yeah. to accommodate all the various furnitures that you want to put in that room. So, mm, yeah, there it was, a, it was a give and take for us. But oh, I like the house. I think I like the open concept. But once again, if we were to ever have that kind of house, it would be different you you don't you won't we're not going to get all the things that we want and we would be actually be giving up on some of the things that we do enjoy about this home we like to look at houses that come up on the market mm -hmm. as you can yeah. see we did that when we even went to montreal um it's it's nice to see as well as we have plans for our own home that we want to decorate we want to do our floors in the next coming year or so hopefully right god willing, god willing yeah. things work out yeah. that's that the be. plan that would be a huge yeah. change. Yeah, and that will definitely change. It's going to be like a major facelift. Our house will change like drastically. So we, yeah, I think you can gain um, inspiration from looking at other houses as well. As if like, I mean, if we also looked and we saw something that was like reasonable where it made sense and we could sell and we could buy and things would suddenly work out where it just made sense for us, that would be great. But <laughs> the nice. way the market's set up right now, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that, you know, it is what it is. But um, we're grateful for where we're at. We're grateful for what we're doing. And I'm so, so happy about just like even the subtle changes that we're making that's helping to get our house where we want to be. I'd like to say that I think the one thing for us is that we did make a great decision in buying a home. We bought a home that was like, it's great in the fact that it's kind of like, the skeleton in a sense, we can do what we need to do to create, what do you call it? Or to make it more, even more appealing that when it's time, if and when we do choose to sell, I feel like that will be a huge benefit for us. Oh yeah, for sure. Because, yeah. not, you know, it came with, ver with certain things, granite countertops and stuff like that, but um, there's so much room for improvement without it being a complete eyesore. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? It's yep. beyond, it's really livable. I think the one main thing that I'd love to do is like my floors. Then the other things are just like things that could obviously assist our family. But we can definitely make certain improvements that will like well, definitely yeah, make, a big make a big difference, not only aesthetically in our home, but also like in terms of value. So yeah, I just wanted to, Aaron, I just wanted to share why we went on this little, um, this house hunting tour thing. If you guys like this kind of stuff, be on the lookout. Perhaps you will see some more of this because we do do them, especially in the summer when houses come up on the market. It's really fun to go check out house hunting. This is something I used to do with my dad and my, my family all the time growing up. That's how we gained inspiration to like modify our home and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just, I, I think it's really fun. So if you like to see, um, what do you call it? More house tour videos, uh, leave a comment down below and I will, um, keep them coming yeah anything else what did you rate that house overall maybe like a seven and a half or an eight like what just, what did the biggest hit you know for what? you I, this the exterior is not what, <laughs> yeah. what a typical house would i would think look like and yeah. then like the layout was okay mm -hmm. i like the upstairs layout but you the downstairs, it was um it was open but Maybe not, like, there's some space that I wouldn't have given to, like, a mudroom. I mean, the mudroom was actually okay, but the, the powder room was, like, way over Yeah, like exactly. I know, that's true, right? Like, the powder room, honestly, they took away from the den space to create yeah. that. They could have made, yeah, and that's that's what I mean by when I say Stuff you like will that. never get this, you'll never get all you want. I don't know if anyone really has ever get what gets what they want. And I remember when we first got this, I was like, if oh, they yes. Build their own home. Yeah, true. If you build your own home. I was like, yes, this is like our dream home. And it's yeah. a dream home. And that's how I felt. It was like a high for the first maybe, <laughs> I don't know, six months. But then you see little things that you're like, oh, I could change this. Like nothing major. But, you yeah. know, then you see this in the other home. Like I need a, like you want to have a bathroom, but it doesn't need to be oversized. As you guys would have seen in like a bathroom tour video, I showed you guys my downstairs bathroom, which is like, it's, it's a beautiful bathroom. It's the biggest in the house, but it's massive. It's not like, it could be a filming studio for myself. It's that big. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's, it's so unnecessarily big. So I think even in this house, I think they had so much square footage to the point where it started getting wasted. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to cut this video off right now. If you guys are like this video, don't forget to give it a big like. Um, leave a comment down below. And also share our videos. Now that we've hit a million, big thank you. Aaron, you have anything to say? Our Thanks, self, guys. Support. Thank you for the one million. I, I appreciate it very much. Yeah. Like, you guys have shown so much support. Exactly. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to continue to see this channel grow, do your part in helping us to share our videos and continue watching and liking and subscribing for more fun videos. So thank you guys for watching. Bye. Hi right, guys. Your teeth are so white on the video. Hi guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe. 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 <laughs>